Good morning everyone. It's Thursday the 17th of February. The weather outside today is a lot better than yesterday. I hope everyone up in the north survived the, the storm we had yesterday. I do believe though it's only a small respite for today because we've actually got a lot worse a storm coming heading our way uh, through this afternoon and into this evening. So I do expect uh, even more danger to life, because I'm saying this is probably one of our biggest storms we've had in the UK for a long time, so we'll just have to see on that one. I'm um, just going to talk today, really, just a, a quick discussion. Y you know, I'm going to go on back onto freedom of speech, because it is one of my favourite things to talk about, because I truly do believe that it's one of the things we really need to protect in this world. Um, I see... I'm, I'm going to start, really, because I'm just going to say a little bit on Alex Belfield, because... I know you all hate me for talking about him and there's a lot of hate videos out there, but I'm just going to say I don't, I don't really care. I think he was a really, really good at, at, at delivering the news and I do miss him and I really hope he comes back soon. You, you know, you can you can say and, and accuse all these people of allegations, but until they're in court with hearings, it means absolutely nothing to me. And I literally, until the court puts down that hammer and the judges and the jury, they decide their, their conviction... You know, nothing means nothing to me. So you can you can lie to me. You can put all your comments on the page. You you feel free to do what you want, but you know it's part of of uh, freedom of speech that you're trying to erode there. So you know I don't believe any of you are anything other than extreme left people, lefties, the extreme lefties, shall we say? Because that's what you truly are. You know, you must have privileged lives for you guys to really be able to come onto people like my platform, who's very small and criticise me and make fake profiles and call me all the names under the sun. You, you crack on, it really doesn't bother me. You know, I'd like to say though, why weren't you all out last night helping your 60 or so fellow friends trying to start what they consider a protest? I don't know when 60 people became a protest, it's more like a small gathering to me outside Jimmy Carr yesterday in Cambridge. I just think that, you know, People should be allowed to do comedy. And if you don't like that comedy, don't go and watch them. Don't get offended by words you're not even, you know, you're not even prepared to go and sit and watch through and understand the context of the whole thing. I think it's just unbelievable. You know, it's a freedom to be able to get onto that stage and joke with people that are willing to pay to hear you joke. You know, you, should, you, you have no right to go out there and tell people what they can and can't listen to. It's not for you to say, it's for them to, to make that judgment on their own. You know, and with things like in Canada, you know, you're not even allowed to protest, you know. It's just, I just find it really weird, you know, why that a protest is a protest. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. It can be whatever it wants to be. You know, it, I just think in Canada, it's, it's, it's sad to see that the government is willing to go that far to give give up on freedoms and, and and he's supposed to be a liberal leader um yeah i just think it's it's, it's a real shame to see how much uh, freedom of speech and freedom to express yourself is 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 really being eroded and, and to be honest it's part of the reason why i'm doing this because I'll bring it on you know like you can try and keep me quiet i don't really care like you, it, it really doesn't bother me like i said before in a lot of my other videos it's actually quite good for me because I'm trying to show my son who wants to start his own YouTube how bad this really can be, especially with some of the vile comments. And I need him to see that this really is what people are like on here, especially, and you know what, I'm going to say it, the left, because it's the left that are the evil ones. I don't really know any people from the right that have even got time to go out and do any of this sort of stuff. It's, it is the left, you know, these people who sit at home in their big houses or in their mama's basement, you know, they're willing, they're willing to go out of their way to try and make someone feel bad about themselves. But, you know, you're going to have to really target me a lot better with your words because you're, 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 you're barely even scratching my surface at the moment. So, yeah, if you want to try and stop the freedom of speech, come at me as well. I just want to say to everyone that has subscribed so far and commented, it, whether it's good comments or bad comments, I like to have dialogue with all of my listeners. But I just want to say thank you for all the people that have subscribed to help me grow my channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you are watching this, please do subscribe. I like to give at least one news clip or, or one opinion for the day. I tend to do more than that, but we just have to see how the days go. It's a lot to do, actually. I didn't realise how much work Alex was doing, and I'm sure he had a team behind him at the end of it. But at the beginning, I know he definitely didn't. He was just like this. So, yeah. 
please subscribe to my channel, please like and comment and I will reply, good or bad, doesn't bother me, I like to have dialogue and I'll see you on the next one.